from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III, and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for you, the happy people. Now, Monday through Fridays, I will give positive words of wisdom for you on my episode called The Oak Zone. But today is Sunday morning, and it is time for the Sunday morning chat series. Here, I get to interview a plethora of positive people that are making a big difference within their communities, whether they're speakers, authors, yoga instructors, animal rescue, volunteers, organ donors, Bitcoin experts, you name it. And we have a chance to actually interview these positive people that are making a big difference within their community. And today, we got ourselves a darn good show. When I think of speakers and authors, yes, you can become a speaker and you can become an author, but why not both? I have with me an amazing author as well as an amazing speaker that recently had a TED journey with something called TED. So please help me welcome for today, Miss Susan Johnson. Susan, how's it going? Great, I am honored to be here on your show today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, and without any further delay, let's chat. Okay. All right. All right, first and foremost, could you describe this TEDx and what it's all about? Sure. TEDx is an idea worth spreading. So there are the big TED Talks around the world. And then there is a TED Talk on the community level. And that is the one that I participated in. And there's talks on everything under the sun. But mine happens to be on bipolar disorder, which is what I live with. All right. And how did you get involved with this TED experience? Toastmasters! Toastmasters! I am a part of Jackpot Speakers Club 2180 woo, in Las Vegas. And I began speaking in 2015, and I was terrified of speaking. I had the shaky legs under the skirt. And you could see my legs shaking. But I kept speaking and all these years later had an opportunity to do a TEDx because our past president, Sarah Lawrence, decided to bring TEDx to Velocity. Nice, very, very nice. Now, when it comes to this experience, what were some of your challenging moments that you went through? Uh, everything, everything about this 14 month journey has been a challenge, starting with the writing of this talk with Diane Hunter's help, my mentor from Toastmaster, we went through eight versions of the talk, eight versions. So it began with that. And then the entire talk had to be memorized. Let me tell you, I have bipolar disorder. Memorization does not come easy. I began speaking to my Toastmaster Club with note cards. Then it got stuck in my head and everyone's like, well, that's great, but it doesn't sound very conversational. So that was more work, more work. And then the pandemic hit. It was supposed to be in May of last year. Then it got moved to September. Finally happened January 16th. Man, that was an unbelievable journey and quite a challenge, especially during these pandemic times. Now- And I also wanna say having bipolar disorder completely set, it, my, set everything off. The anxiety, um, sleepless nights. It's been really, really hard having bipolar and doing these headaches. I bet it's truly challenging. Now, what were some of your best moments throughout this overall journey? Definitely stage time, stage time, stage time. 
being able to get up with confidence and share my message of hope with the world. And I just fell in love with being on the stage. And then there's also the speaker's high that you get after. I'm sure you can relate to that. Oh, most definitely. That speaker's high, once you get that speaker's high, it makes you feel like you're on clouds 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Ooh, it's just yeah, you never want to come down. <laughs> it's a now, lot of fun. Now, you are a TEDx speaker and you are an author. Now, I got to tell you, there is somebody out there that is amazed and inspired by what you're doing right now. If you were to meet someone that is amazed and inspired and says, man, I want to be like Susan. What type of advice would you give that person? As far as a speaker, I would say join Toastmasters. Um, that will help you, if you are an author, market yourself. And if you are an author, to also join Toastmasters. All right. It's always good to join Toastmasters. And in addition to that, where can people go to know more information about your speaking experience as well as your book that's, come, that's already out? So I have a website, it's www.sjohnsonauthor.com. You can buy a copy of my book, you can read my blogs. I also blog for a mental health magazine and there will be a link to the TEDx talk. Um, the book and cover looks like this. It can be Ooh. bought on Amazon as well, yeah, the watercolor. And uh, it took six years for me to write this book. So I'm pretty proud. Six yeah. years? That's amazing. That is truly it amazing. was really hard to write the book. That's truly amazing, Susan. Now, for all the heavy people that are out there that missed that link, do not fret because the link will be in the description right below. So after this interview, you could check out Susan's links and be amazed with, with her work. All right. Now we are almost at the end of the interview and I got to tell you, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Absolutely, this is too fast. Oh my goodness. But again, we're having fun here. Now this is, portion is known as the shout out portion. Now, if you have a chance to give a shout out to people that will make all this possible for you, who would you give a shout out to? Uh, number one, my husband, who has been so supportive through these past 14 months. It hasn't been easy. Number two, Jackpot Speakers Club 2180. I love you. It would have never happened without everybody's support uh, through this whole process. And I want to thank you because you came to Jackpot Speakers Open House a few years ago and you gave the advice that if you are a speaker and if you stop speaking, you will regress. Mm -hmm. And I could not afford to regress to shaky knees. So I continued to speak and here I am as a TEDx speaker. So thank you, Jess. Oh, that means a great deal, you know? That is, that gets me right here, Susan. And it goes to show you that it takes a whole community and a whole team to make a, to make a person like your so a true success, whether it's writing a book or going speaking on stage, it takes a whole team and whole unit to actually yeah. make that possible. You know That's one, the truth. No one can do it all by themselves. No way. All right. Now we are at the near end of this interview and there will be people that will watch this video. I call my crowd the happy people. They will say, ooh, that Susan Johnson is quite the dynamo. I am already amazed by what she has said so far in this interview for the Yolk Zone Sunday Morning Chat Series. If you can give extra words of wisdom for the happy people watching this episode, what would it be? All right, as the title says, some dreams are worth keeping. We all have obstacles in our lives we must overcome to follow our dreams. So go ahead keep going to overcome your obstacles because I'm proof that we can live our dreams. Bam! Exclamation point. 
That is a perfect bookend to this wonderful interview. And on behalf of all the happy people that are watching all over the world, I want to thank you for taking the time out to come and do this interview for the Sunday Morning Chat Series. Well, thank you for having me. I hope to come back one day. Oh, definitely. We'd be more than happy to welcome you back with open doors. Wonderful. All right. Now, this concludes the Sunday Morning Chat Series for the Oak Zone. And if you want more plethora of positivity, go to YouTube, type in my name, Jesse Oakley III, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like, and share these videos with other happy people that you know. And if you want to go to my YouTube channel, check out the Sunday Morning Chat Series. I have a plethora of positive people that I've already interviewed that are making a big difference in the community and share their own personal words of wisdom. And you get to hear great, amazing, dynamic, and phenomenal people like my friend Susan. And if you would like to check that out, please feel free to do so. This is Jesse Oakley III speaking. And until then, happy people, take care and have a great day. Bye.